Hey guys, Jonathan here, and we're back in the workshop today to announce the winner of the Colin Furs safety tie. So this is an awesome, uniquely signed safety tie that Colin signed for us whilst we were visiting his workshop. And if you don't know about that, what have you been doing? What have you been playing at? Go back on our channel, check out these two epic videos we did with Colin Furs himself and we're in Colin Furs' video where we took a huge amount of Milwaukee power tools and put them all in a huge power tool wall display for him, which was a huge lot of fun. Colin cut the foam himself too. We got him cutting logos and stuff and heard some great stories with him. We also did some Sealy tool drawers and we organized a load of Nipex tools, loads of the tools he already had. And it was a great couple of days that we spent with him and it was amazing. And obviously while we were there, we got this tie signed by him in person and we said we were gonna give it away. But it's not very shadow foam to just send it like this. We wanted to level it up a little bit. So we've had an idea. We've got one of these IKEA wall displays. This is called a Casabee. You can mount it on the wall, but it's got a hinged lid, glass lid. So we thought, rather than just sending the tie as it is, we can take a piece of our shadow foam, put it in there, and we can cut the tie in, we can cut the lid in, make a really cool display. We can put the card in, maybe put a shadow foam logo in there too, and make a truly unique one-off piece which you'll be able to open it up and get the tie out if you want to. If you, if you so choose to, you want to wear it, you'll be able to open it up and get the tie out. But if you just want it on the wall, it's going to keep the dust off it, keep it clean and keep it as a collector's piece for you. So let's get that done. Let's get the phone cut. When it comes to cutting the foam, it's very simple. It's the exact same as we do with hand tools, with anything else. You just place the item where you want it to go. And in this case, it's a simple rectangle. We're just gonna cut around it lightly, get that profile, take the item away, and then we just cut that a little bit deeper. Now these box lids are both about 15, 18 mil. So we're gonna make sure we've cut down past that point. Then we can peel back the layers. We just push our fingers down the end, peel back the foam and just work our way through the foam. We're not peeling it from one end, we're plowing the foam out. And actually that's ended up pretty smooth anyway. And if we just slot the box in, that fits absolutely perfectly nice and snug in there. So it's gonna hold it nice and snugly. We'll do the same for the other side of the box. And for the cards, it's the exact same, but we're just peeling off that top black layer. And that way we, they're held in there nice and tightly. They're not gonna fall out, but not too tight that they're crinkling up. So that's perfect. Right, so that's all done. And I I'm really pleased with that. I think that looks a lot better than just having the tie in the box. I think you could mount that on the wall. Obviously we've got the frame for it to go in here. Now what we've done is we've, we've kind of split the components down so the tie had this little cool little label that came in it and on the back of that it says turning the internet up to 11 which is pretty cool. So we'll put that in there, we've got a shadow foam logo too because obviously it was a collaboration and we stick it in this frame here and this is a great little Ikea frame that's got like a hinged glass lid so if you did want to uh, you can mount this on the wall, it looks really cool. And I'm pretty sure you could use that for any collectibles that you want to display, but also want to access, keep the dust out. So I think that's a fantastic display. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got giveaways going on on this channel all of the time. We've actually got one live right now to win a full set of the Prime Hydration Drink bottles, which are pretty much everywhere at the moment. So check that video out, go and enter that giveaway. Dead simple, we, all we ask for is a comment and a subscription basically to enter our giveaways. We never make it very complicated. But all that being said, let's find out who won this? And to do that, let's get the Tombola out. Right, so let's find out who the winner is. Now we've had over 400 entrants to this, which is probably our most entered giveaway that we've ever done. Because uh, we have done quite a few giveaways in this channel. It was a big job for Matt, the cameraman. He's had to painstakingly cut all of the comments out. So we've got a few here. Please kill me. We've got one from Archie. As much as I love the content of just making stuff, my favorite part is, as an American is hearing all the British slang. So, ooh ah. Fair play, there's lots of, uh, put a montage together, Matt. Let's have it. And we've actually put like a little cheeky cut in the foam. Just put the knife around and kind of poke it around, but it's like Mary Poppins unbag that thing. That's all right, boy. I thought it was, I am the Lord of the Dance Seti, like a sofa. I mean, I think it's yeah. gonna look the business. If you've got to have a smooth bottom, you've got to have a smooth bottom. It's in my own land now. But if ever this is an example of putting a sandwich in a suitcase. It looks mint to me. But getting another cup of tea, ain't I? <laughs> Right, so that's one of the comments. We'll fold that up, chuck that in the box. This is pretty full already, to be fair. You can see how many comments are in there. But we've got a few more. Let's have a look. We've got John Smith. Hard to pick, but when you compliment him on his logo and then look back at the one you did, I lost it. Well, to be fair, Colin, for a first timer, did a really good job of that logo. So yeah, that looks better than mine, that. You've gone you've gone shallower. I've ended well, up pulling that. Well, I took the black off. That's what you said. Yeah, yeah. fair play. <laughs> Great one. We've got Andrew Gibbons. I'd nearly... 
Get shadow foam for my cornflakes glass. That's a job in itself, isn't it? That's, is that a video? I don't think that's a video I want to do, but you know, in there we go. We've got Sean O'Neill. I know it's missing the point entirely, but I love the contrast in the two accents. To be fair, it's, it's amazing the amount of accents that we've got in the UK. If you're a UK viewer, you're going to know that you can literally go five minutes up the road, ten minutes up the road, and you've got Manchester, Liverpool, you know, the Lancashire accents and Cheshire. All You don't have to go far to get an entirely different accent. Garlic bread. <laughs> Fraser Jorgensen, oh, I would love a safety tie. It would stop me from hurting myself when cutting shadow foam. Well... There we go, the safety gloves are what you need. Fishing Sammy style, who'd win an arm wrestle between Colin Furs and Adam Savage? Perhaps they could build a machine that would do the work for them. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below who you think would win out of Colin and Adam. Can you make a shadow board foam cut out for yourself and put you in it from Adam? If I've heard that, if I had a quid for every time I heard that, I'd have at least 10 quid. <laughs> because even Colin said that, let us do one for you and the missus. It's like, oh right, okay. <laughs> I only subscribed because of the ending, well done. Yeah, it was pretty good banter with Colin. We've had loads of subscribers recently, so a big welcome and thank you for subscribing. So click the <laughs> subscribe button, that's awkward, isn't it? He is exactly in his videos how he is in person. So he's a great laugh, honestly. It was such a good couple of days with him. Ravniev can tell he was genuinely scared as he drops his excited voice. Yeah, well, that was a cool story, learning about his most scary build video. I mean, he's had some crazy builds. I thought it was the spinning belt of knives, personally, but that huge swing in his garden clearly was the, uh, the scariest one he's ever done. And before we'd got all the canter weight on, I had a bit of a swing and I was like, Christ, do you know what I mean? This is like... You know, like going over the fence, oh, it's just proper big. Phil Whiting, you didn't show the most important drawer, the one filled with tea bags, mugs and milk. Well, guess what, Phil? I never did that one. When we left, that drawer was empty and Colin did that one himself. We left him an extra insert and uh, that was his uh, first, I think it was only the next day he sent me a photograph of that on WhatsApp and said, here you go. <laughs> and then last comment here, Baylor Rosenbaum, I am confused safety wise. Why Jonathan is not safety conscious? Where's your safety tie, Jonathan? That is, it was a shock, wasn't it? I actually uh, had the safety tie with me at that point and I could have put it on, but uh, I didn't want to spoil it in the box. So this one is unworn and unused, but that is all of the comments, 400 comments in this Tombola and it's pretty full and we'll give it a proper good spin. We've only got one winner of this one. We've got five winners of the Prime. So if you're not fortunate enough to win this safety tie, make sure you check out that Prime video. Go and click that, watch that, drop a comment on that one and then you'll be in for five sets of Prime there. And they're all one-off unique builds too. So I think that's had a proper good mix. Let's open it up, pick a winner. And we've got one here, it is Dean Smith. That's great, you should see my shed. It would take me a couple of days to reorganize all the tools. Hmm, I do have ideas though. I think he's from Australia, so we're gonna have to pack this off, send it over to you, Dean, in Australia. We'll be in touch with you in the comments. We'll send you a message. Congratulations, hopefully you enjoy it and you're a big Colin fan. And uh, for everyone who missed out, make sure you're subscribed. Go and check out the Prime videos. You can enter that giveaway and we're doing stuff all the time. We're also heading back to Colin, hopefully in the next weeks or months to do another project with him. So let us know in the comments what you think we should help Colin with. What should we try and get organized? Maybe some sort of crazy foam project. World's biggest foam finger. Do oh, this novelty foam hand is ludicrously oversized. Maybe it's some uh, hole in the wall foam style like somebody mentioned in the comments. Cutting Colin in foam, that might be quite cool. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss that future Colin video and you don't miss any of our future giveaways. And with all that being said, big thank you for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, why not check out some of our others? We've got new videos coming out every week. And Colin Furs, what's the quickest way for people to see these videos? That's Subscribe. It.